Hello and welcome back to channel one. We're diving straight back into Stellaris and we've got a few things we need to do straight away. First off, in Tiberian, we've got an open building slot, so let's fill that with something fun. We are yet to build one of these, so I think we just do it. Let's just do it. I want to find out more about this section of space as well. So, let's see if these guys are willing to trade. Communications for communication. Oh. Nope. What about these guys? These guys seem friendly. Minus four for our communications, minus three. So we're going to have to buy them off. Oh, what have I got loads of? Oh. How many of these do they want? So it costs 213 to buy it. Let's just do it and see what who we hit. Usanon's Interplanetary League is one. Hello. Krab Karabna Democratic Confederation. Nice to meet you. Ah hmm. oh, yes, these guys. These are the guys that slapped up quite badly. Uh, those xenophobic purifiers that were living here. Or, well, not living here anymore. Of course, uncovered a couple of archaeological sites. New systems discovered. Ooh, an anomaly found. We already researching. Relic activation now possible. Yes, we know. We are going to be using it on this planet. Oh, are we? Are we waiting for something to be built? Most likely. Everything else is busy. Interesting. Why haven't they colonized this one? There must be something scary there. If they Otherwise, they would have taken it over. Um, very interesting. We will offer communication straight away to these guys because they seem pretty big. Whew. They aren't very nice, are they? They won't be doing any trading with us as they are unfriendly. As are these guys. Well, we don't want to be their friends anyway. Losers. Losers. So what's this commercial pact? Hmm. Interesting. Stuff we're not invited to. Those guys have been arranged fun without us. Bastards everywhere. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's just build the two. Um the word I'm looking for. Colony ships. One for Terrans, one for uh, mystery species. And or oh, do we want to just up this? Uh, we want a, an, an anchorage to increase naval capacity and trade hub for better range and some defensive stuff. Let's just do that. Do that. And we've burnt through all our resources, but... Ah, oh, I suppose we'll build you on Alpha Centauri then instead. We must plan ahead a little better. A little better. Not that it matters too much. Uh, we will take... Terran. Do we have enough resource for another one? No, not quite yet. We will shortly. So first off... Special project complete. Oh, excellent. Some mineral cutting beams from that project. I think we... Ooh, clones in cryostasis. The murky vats located deep within the ruined sections of the Guardia Ring. 
world contain thousands of alien creatures and creatures in cryostasis. Some are still living, and many thousands appear to have suffered cryogenic malfunctions, leaving this organic sludge. What? I recently found a bag of spinach in my fridge that had been there for quite some time. I think that counts as organic sludge. Uh, <laughs> it, it wasn't particularly nice. Now, what happens next? Is I, did we thaw them out? Gen the genetic clones? Uh, let's thaw them out. Let's thaw them out. Log updated. Where are you? Thaw them out. And yeah, we probably do take over. If it's got a habitable planet, we may as well. We want it in. So, immediate expansion plans are going to be Fen Habinis, Canem, Bov Bovatir, and Ozula here. That'd be quite nice. It'll really increase the size of Empire. I think at that point we reach a point of needing to consolidate again. But in the meantime, it's all good. Special project complete. Who have we found? Ah, pleased to report that barring a small number of unsalvageable unsalv cases, the revival of the derelict Ring World clones from Cryostasis has been a success. The clones are quite docile individuals who appear to know nothing of the circumstances behind their creation. They, we suspect they were created as laborers, whatever ancient civilization constructed the ring world uh, their clones appear to be willing to follow orders uh, they are not the best equipped to deal with complex tasks um, I think we if you remember the first video of this series and I was casting your mind back quite some way we want to be the sort of pampered overlords of a bunch of different species and I think we've just found our underclass obviously this uh, pyramid society is going to be deeply unstable but I think we have found our way though whether they will stay slaves forever I don't know but I think this will lead to the best stories and that's what I'm after Stellaris is after all a storytelling game so Margazia has got two cryo clone pops Let's go check them out. Oh, I wish I remembered which planet I named Barcasia first time. <laughs> Can I rename the cryo climate? I wish I could rename them. Um, preference for tomb worlds, nerve stapled. They're good fighters and they're strong. Yeah. I, is there a way to rename? If there's a, re, a way to rename, uh, I'm going to find it. Uh, yeah, just give me two seconds and I'll find out if it's possible to rename. Looks like it's possible, but you need to have the gene modding trait, which I don't have yet, so for the time being, they stay as cryonic clones. And we roll on. Any situation logs we need to care about? Anomaly found. Ooh, a fresh anomaly on Fen Habinus 4. Let's just research it. This system is absolutely jam packed, so we want it. We want it so badly that we're going to have to. Can we build something here? Doesn't have a shipyard. Nope. No, we cannot. Um, I think we're going to need another construction ship. Uh, other ones, you know, just casually over here. Complete. Chilling out. Oh, Vilith as well. I think we just take Daria to cut the corner off, as it were. Oh, we short. How much? One month's worth of supplies. Ooh. 
Rock Brown. A scan of the particularly massive asteroid 14S 112 yields fascinating results. The rock's core is shot through with a network of conductive minerals, uh, crystals, carrying a weak electric charge. Now the crew on the ISS Mar Markian recognize this matrix as a primitive neural lattice and believe the celestial body seems to be thinking in some capacity, if not fully sapient. Ooh. Uh, let's try and excavate the core for study. See if that unlocks something for us. Meanwhile, we've got an archaeological event pending here. A log of sorts was recovered from what was believed to serve as the spacecraft's bridge. Captain's Chronicle, begin recording. Made forced landing on planet 5523X. Incompetent crew to blame. Shabda, Vuxal, and Dubrak III did not survive. Pivax lost two secondary appendages and 11 of his eyes and remains in critical condition. Survival doubtful, rest of fine, awaiting rescue, but surrounded by idiots. Very depressed. Ah, well that's interesting. Curiouser and curiouser. Keep digging. Keep digging. Oh, it appears we have done it badly. Uh, the minerals are valuable and their own weapon who appear to have killed this creature, which is quite sad. Idiot scientists, not to be trusted. Construction complete. There we go, a month has been, that should give us enough just to... Oh, it's not surveyed, not surveyed. There's always another problem. Always another problem. None of these guys are going to move off. I'm kind of bored of them being here, but they're not annoying anyone too badly. Enjoying your exploration. Scary stuff there. No orders. Go and explore stuff. What do you do? Go and explore stuff as well. Lazy bastards. Um, sorry about that. Right. We want this planet first, I think. How is construction going on our starbase? Let's just crack out a construction ship just to get it done. Final rest. But what appears to be beyond astronomical odds, the ISS Agathodamon actually managed to pinpoint the source for odd signals as it soared past the asteroid belt. Tiny alien construct, a simple scan soon reveals that it's some sort of ritualistic container holding the remains of an alien space bearer. I think we take a look. I hope we don't get brain parasites. I don't think we'll get brain parasites. Not yet. Anomaly anyway. found. Anomaly found. Amoeba space hunters. Ooh, yeah. Do a runner, friend. Do, do a runner. Um, anomaly found. What were we talking about? Research it. Construction complete. Hmm. Star system charted. Star system charted indeed. Uh, and communications, precious moon. A more detailed scan of one of the many unnatural satellites orbiting the gas giant Stenlar 5 has revealed a deposit of precious metals and minerals that were overlooked um, in the initial survey. Although the moon appears very small to the stable orbit around its primary and appears tectonically stable. Interesting. Stenlar 5 gets an extra boost. 
Ah, oh, someone's opened their doors to us. I mean, their kindness knows no bounds. We need more alloys. That should keep us going for a while, but uses up lots of energy, but we're making a large profit, so let's just splash the cash. And on Sol, space station, we've got a colony ship to build. Uh, Terran, naturally, naturally. Construction ship, start base outpost, uh, assist, uh, automatic exploration for you. Construction complete. Colony ship built. Where do we want to go? Bobbit here. That's where we wanted to go. Get you in, get you in, get you in, get you in. It's four colonies. Technology We're going to be growing quite quickly at this rate. Uh, what do we want? Let's exploit dark matter. Oh, it might take a while to research that. 89 months. Not too long. Not too long. Not too long at all. Anomaly found. Star system research that. Lots of rivalries and things going on. Fresh technology. Greener grass. Uh, three pops to part terror. Minus 10 influence. Why do they keep leaving? Fleet command limit plus 20. We'll finally stop paying this. Oh. The penalty for having too big a fleet. Extreme Ophelia. Maxima, Alias, and her crew have made a surprising discovery on Ugrisil uh, 1A. The mol plant oh, the molten planet is home to an exotic array of extremophile microorganisms. These bacteria live deep inside volcanic vents that scar the planet, thriving in the extremely high temperatures produced there. That's very impressive. The only known example of organic life forms flourishing on molten planets. They're also, in fact, responsible for the rare gases detected in the thin atmosphere. Fascinating. Bloody fascinating, that was. Uh, when's that next colony ship? Come on. Be on your way, friendo. Anomaly found. Uh, research? It's always worth researching them. Always. Always research. Research everywhere. Zuricorp. Hello. They're a business conglomerate. Where are you, Mr. Zuricorp? I imagine you're going to be quite small if you're a business conglomerate. You're not around here. You're not around here. Well, I'm sure they're about somewhere. I think we just keep swallowing up our little, our little corner of the galaxy. Ooh, Nefri's pride. The armed vessel discovered in the orbit of E49-1000 is an abandoned military spacecraft called Nefri's Pride. It is light, it's light frame and evasion hardware suggests it was built for long distance patrol missions, but has since been retrofitted into a long range stealth bomber. Records of the ship's comms reveal that it was hijacked by a rebel guerrilla on its way to form a strike against a secret complex called the Zevan Labs. Ooh. Hold, uh, said to hold a weapon so powerful it could win them the war. When they were shut down, um, we have uh, extracted the ship's destination from its navigational drive. Uh, Situation log updated. We do that special project because we need. Check on that. 
Alcor. Isn't it great that it's inside the system? What we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is in fact not. Beneath a deceptive cover of thick dust lies a regular planet, a barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. Very embarrassing to the astronomical community. Remarkable, though. Remarkable. Let's uh, get this weapon. Or at least find out what's there. A1000, a large machine. Research that. Having probed the frozen landscapes of the moon Worthosk 2A, we think we have struck something big. Science officer Lucius Geminus speaks of a bacterial life form unlike any other. It bonds with other dimensions. Ah, oh, it's the blankets one. Um, that sends a sample home for processing. Ah. You're on your way. Jobs plus five percent and energy credits. Oh, energy credits from jobs plus five percent. Star system charted. That's good. Colony ship. On your way, my friends. Construction complete. A machine. Further scans suggest the machine is still operational, though its purpose remains entirely unclear. Science Officer Maxima Elias has never seen anything like it. Some of the materials look familiar, but most are strange and utterly alien, as design as is the design of its components. The machine has what appears to be a console with one item in particular standing out. A large crooked lever lever of unknown material. Pull or take it apart? You know the answer to that question, don't you? Pull the damn lever. Energy spike. As our scientists pull the lever, the machine emits a huge blast of energy, uh, tearing open a wormhole in his what? After residual energy fused, the wormhole and the median area around it settled and now appear to be stable enough for a safe passage. Though what awaits us on the other side, our scientists are not sure. How strange, now take it apart. Where is is Wyria. That's not it. That's not it. Is it down here? I don't know where that is. Can we find it? I can't even spell. Oh, it's here. It's got the shard in it. Well, we won't be visiting there for a while. Well, I think I researched the machine. got to research that machine. Now, you're over there. You're on your way. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going to be quite pleased with this when these little uh, gaps Technology secure. are filled in. Let us research. Oh, that's going to take a while. Exotic gas extraction. Might as well do that, just for the fun of it. Come on, come on. Not sure if you want to go through this wormhole. Oh, research that. Ugrasil has more fun stuff, it seems. Oh, a fresh arc... Oh, Asteroid Blast. Oh. Where is that? Lemsia. Out of scope. Out of scope for the time being, that is. Stranded scientist. 
The wreckage on the asteroid is the remains of a vessel belonging to a now stranded scientist, Monolac. Identifying themselves as belonging to an unknown species. When admits the wreckage, she managed to contact the science officer and was requesting to be rescued uh, and able to leave this asteroid for several years. Uh, yep, yeah, let's get Mana back in. I mean, seems this plausible, right? Complete. Ah, the gap is filled in. Ven Habanas is ours. And we're going to build a bunch of mining stations to take advantage to, of all that stuff. Star now then, system charting. Star system charting. Ah, you're on your way. Up is down. Um, oh, the ship has experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. Ever curious? My Mercus Galus dispatched a number of probes to scan the debris field to discern the cause. Turns out the culprit is a number of jet gravity generators of old alien make, sputtering on dying energy sources and with the polarities inverted, and occasionally spew out a reverse gravity into the void. Uh, not with enough force to cause any harm anymore. Hmm, disturbing thought. Some malfunction tore that rock apart. Excellent, free physics from Monobac. She is handy. Secured. Shard is still hanging about. Um, what else do we want? Seems sensible. Oh, it just gave us technologies. They're good ones to get. That's researching the Zevon Labs. You're building stuff. Everything's going quite well, isn't it? Very well indeed. Suspiciously well. Oh, automated dreadnought over there. We're not going to this system for some time. It's another scary one. Mm-hmm. But we have enough stuff to get you inside the system, then we do Vilith. Construction complete. Excellent. We can get both of you filling in this gap ASAP. We got slightly distracted by all the fun Already stuff we've been seeing. Life signs emanating from beneath the frozen surface. Research that. The Meeb is everywhere. Mining drones. The Shard. We're almost completing that Zevon Labs research. Special project complete. Invisible death. Our scientists have refer returned from the Zevon Labs unscathed with footage collected from the facility's security cameras. It shows lab scientists bound and gagged as guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapons strong box, but to their dismay, the box is empty. Only minutes later, the rebel can be seen writhing on the floor in intense agony, dark patches swelling across their bodies, and then their skin rips in a grey, um, a great unidentifiable matter spills out. Grimy. The matter continues to expand, swirling hypnotically around them until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. The sprinklers douse the room in liquid, and the electrical surge passes through it, executing all living things. Here, the footage ends. Our crew can confirm. That the lockbox was indeed empty. Huh. A big room. There's an ocean beneath the ice. Situation book updated. Uh, where is that? Special project. Ah. Uh. Just get on the research project. We'll wait for the colony ship to get to Fenhabenis. Can't think anything bad is going to happen. Nothing bad happened on Sala when we colonized that system. And you're nicely on your way. I just wish they would move a little bit quicker. It's going to take a full year for them to get there. 
I have to bother to. That is so long. How long are you going to take to get there? A full year as well. God, they're slow moving. Cost a fortune in energy to run as well while they're moving about. Well, there's not really much we can do except sort of sit around and twiddle our thumbs. Though I do wonder if it's worth building a fresh one. Maybe not if it's going to take 10 years to get there. But everything's tickling along quite nicely. Special project complete. Ooh, special. What was under the ocean? Living metal. Living metal research is great. Great. It's nice that we're unlocking all these special resources too. And this corner of the galaxy right here is absolutely packed full of them. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to get on this before somebody else does. Star system charted. Yeah, we're going to have to colonize over here ASAP. Construction complete. Independence guaranteed. Uh, nice of them. Very nice of them. You just arrived. Where is the habitable planet? We don't. Hmm. Do we want to name it after the first league in any way? Do they have any interesting artifacts that we could name? Um. No. But. Let's name it after a Roman city near from where I am from. There we go. That seems smart. Complete. We want all of this, don't we? So. So you're, where are you, colony ship? Yes, 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 yes. We don't want to call it Bobbatier Prime, do we want to call it? Uh, the problem with naming these is I've got to think of names. Thinking on the spot. Let's call it. What's a good Roman name? A good Roman name. Octavia. That seems like a good Roman name. It's not the eighth planet though. Ah well, ah well. Anyway, I think that seems to be like a great place to end this video. And I do hope you'll join me in the next one. So see you next time.